Hello my crafty friends, Jada the Craft Hog here, coming back on a VR for Crafty Kristen and Halls. She is having a challenge right now, and so I decided to join. She doesn't know that yet though, so, but once I post this video, she'll know. <laughs> so we're all good. But anyways, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, um, help me grow. I'm going to put on a challenge here pretty soon, then hopefully that'll boost us together. But um, as for this, for, Chris, for, for Crafty Kristen and Halls, I made her a memory dex. So she, we, could do, um, we could do some holidays, and so I decided, well, since I've got all these Halloween ones, I, I better start um, getting these shown off here. So what I did was, um, I cut out a pumpkin, put it up on some black foam, added a few, um, uh, pieces of sequins on the inside. I used some, um, cardboard or cardstock stickers. It says, if you've got it, haunt it. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun. I added some um, re uh, rolled flowers, added some stickles onto them, uh, created a bow, a sequin bow with some jemmy, a jemmy in the middle, and then I kind of did a little um, rosette out of tulle. In the back, it's actually um, an orange paper with bones going up and down. Um, you may have seen it on some of my previous projects. And what I did is, whoops, I uh, covered it with, oops, I covered all the way um, around and I just double, double, doubled up the paper, but I cut it all the way around and um, it's tool, black tool. Sorry, I can't talk, I guess, but it's black tool that I put around it just to kind of glimmer up those, that paper a little bit. And then I added this um, green sequin trim to make the uh, stock of the um, pumpkin. So I thought that was kind of glamorous. Pretty cool. And I added my info on the back. But I thought that was pretty cool. Then we could add a few other things for extra points. So I did make a couple of rosettes. Um, I got this one, trick or treat time with the bat. And the bat is actually cut out of faux leather. And my moon, you know, my popular moon in the middle. So I did this rosette. And this is actually a hand one. Uh, where I did, I did it all from scratch, and this one is a die cut, and I added some new stickers I recently hauled from Crafts Direct, uh, a bow, and then cut out my skeleton. So I'm giving her those rosettes, and then we could add ephemera, or um, we could make, you know, we could make bows. I decided to do tags, so I've got two takes here, one trick or treat, added a sticker, a little bead dangle, and a sequin bow. And then this one, I just love that neon green um, against this, these colors, they look really good. And then I, I got my, oh, the cat is actually uh, foam. I didn't use paper, he's actually foam. So he's, he's popped up all on his own. Added some Nouveau drops, so this was a fun one to do. October 31st on the bottom, so she can use them as she wants. And then I also added one of my faux leather, a Halloween color tassel to send to her. So that's what I've got for her. Make sure you check out below, subscribe to her, check out her challenge. And if you can enter, go ahead and enter. Um, the more the merrier. So... Everyone take care and uh, until the next one. Bye for now.